Optometry is a complex profession. As medical practitioners, you're driven by details. Your diagnosis process is likely more complex than almost any other medical profession. Your outcomes are directly related to the detailed data that you collect and assimilate from and on behalf of your patients. Optometry is not a take two aspirin and call me in the morning profession. However, as we've observed over many decades of client interactions, as it relates to business, you sometimes get lost in the weeds. Your deep desire to completely understand and work through each and every business challenge may well be your Achilles heel. Sometimes you and your teams don't see the forest for the trees. In a recent posting, I spoke about the so-called big rocks of practice growth. I shared with you that there are really only two metrics that drive your revenue growth. Yes, you can get caught up in a detailed review of diagnosis codes and services performed, but at the end of the day, increasing the number of comprehensive exams that you perform and your revenue per exam are the two fundamental revenue drivers. This comprehensive exam metric takes into account all of the ancillary services that you provide because it makes sense that the more comprehensive exams you perform, the more pathology you'll uncover. And as with comprehensive exam growth, increasing collections per comprehensive exam considers the multitude of services and products that you deliver to your patients. So how do you drive these two numbers? Unlike your typical diagnosis and treatment process, the methods to driving growth in these metrics are simpler than you might expect, and simplicity is the key. In my video on the big rocks last week, I used the example of a $1.2 million practice doing 3,000 comprehensive exams and generating $400 per exam. Our established goal was to increase exam units by one per day from 16 to 17 and to increase collections per exam by $50 to $450. So how do you drive an increase in the number of comprehensive exams? Simply stated, you ask for the order. Mrs. Johnson, so we can schedule the appropriate amount of time for your visit, is there anyone else in your family that you'd like to bring with you? Ask this question of each of your 3,000 appointment requests and surely you'll experience at least a 6% increase in exam volume and more. Another simple method of driving exam growth can be implemented by your opticians when they deliver that new pair of eyewear to a patient. Mrs. Smith, I noticed that your husband Harry hasn't been in for a recent exam. Should we schedule an appointment for him today? These two amazingly simple questions deliver results, guaranteed. Speaking of simplicity, there are a number of ways to increase the other metric you're trying to drive, revenue per exam. The first is to prescribe, not recommend. As a medical professional, your patients are predisposed to heeding your counsel. Therefore, each and every patient should receive a prescription from you. Wait a minute, Al, you say, what if the patient doesn't need visual correction? Well, every patient, young and old, should be wearing sunwear. At the very least, each patient should receive your prescription for Plano sunwear. And those with corrective eyewear should be receiving your RX for both street and occupational lenses. After all, your job is to improve the quality of your patient's life. Sunwear and occupational lenses are a crucial element of improving the visual experience. I couldn't live without my computer glasses. Another way to increase your revenue per exam is to adjust your pricing. All too often we see practices that are using the same old formula for pricing just as they did 20 years ago. Turn over every rock to ensure that you're charging what you're worth. But vision plans won't increase their prices to us, you say. Well, start dumping these plans or adding non-covered services. I'm reminded of a story of a major retailer who wanted to increase their revenue per customer. This retailer, as with so many others, trained their sales associates to ask the standard question, may I help you? They brought in a consulting firm that studied these interactions, noting that the majority of the time, the classic customer response to that question is a flat out no. So this consultant recommended a different approach. Stop asking if the customer needs help. Change the script, she said. Start asking, have you been here before? 
to a yes answer, respond with, that's great, let me show you the special opportunities we have for returning customers. To a no answer, respond with, that's great, let me show you the special opportunities we have for new customers. This simple change in scripting resulted in a 16% increase in revenue. So my message this week is to avoid getting too deep in the weeds. Focus your attention on driving your big rocks with some simple changes to your scripting and modify only one thing at a time so that you can measure results. Constantly tweak and test your changes against your norm. Keep it simple and watch your revenue soar.